So there are these three gods up on Mount Olympus and they're having a very, uh, very pertinent, very important discussion. And they're trying to come up with a plan. They're trying to come up with a, a solution to a problem and that is how do we, how do we make sure that man does not discover his divinity, discover his own power to be able to solve any problem in life. And they figure that if, if man discovers his power, then what's the point of having these gods? You know, their, their job is over. There's, no, there's nothing that they can do. So the first god on Mount Olympus says, well, why don't, we, why don't we take their divinity and we hide it at the top of a mountain? And one of the other gods says, well, you know, we can't put it there because they're gonna climb a mountain, you know, and, and that's not that hard. They'll discover it. And the second god says, hey, how about we put it at the bottom of the ocean? Because down at the, the deepest depths of the ocean, well, if you're like James Cameron, you're gonna go right down there, no problem. And they realize that that's not the place that they're gonna be able to hide man's divinity because he's gonna discover it. And when he discovers it, it's all over. And then the third god says, wait, I've got it. Why don't we take man's divinity and hide it deep down within himself? He'll never think to look there. And that, my friends, is the solution to every issue that you have. When you realize that you have the power to solve any problem, the power to bring any solution, then there pretty much isn't anything that you can't do. Honeydew orange juice. Awesome. Okay, let's vlog. Cadillac is back, Woo. nice and safe. Uh, we're driving the Mazda 3. How do you like this car? I like it. We're gonna stop for some lunch somewhere. I can't stop, I can make suggestions, but it's really up to the boss to decide. And she wants to go swimming, again. Yeah. I know, I yeah. already went this morning. It never ends. Not only am I gonna go again, but then I'm gonna go this evening, so. You are?
hardest thing that a human being has to do is to keep his thoughts right. We have many senses, touch, smell, taste, and others. And those senses drag us in different directions uh, with our thought patterns. Things that people say, things that people do, uh, that always uh, tends to distract us from our goal. And the important thing to understand is that whatever you put your, your, your energy in, your attention in, that's what grows. Now you gotta understand this, people, because uh, if you're putting your attention on bummer stuff, or you're bummed all the time about maybe your kids are not doing what they you think that they should do, or maybe you didn't get that raise, or maybe she didn't call you back. Whatever it is, whatever you put your attention on is what grows. So it's important to understand that you want to put your attention on things that you want to happen. The hardest thing for anyone to do, the hardest thing for me to do, is to keep my mind focused on the things that I want and not be distracted by all the different things that happen in my life. Now that's not to say that I, I don't mind being distracted of the good things and we wanna, we wanna do things that make us feel good and that's really the bottom line, is you wanna think in such a way that makes you feel good. And if you're thinking about your a-hole brother who's being a pain in the butt and, and he's driving you nuts, that's not good for you. If you're thinking about your ex-wife and she, you just found her in the trunk of your car, that could be a problem. So this week, people, keep your mind focused. Think about, visualize, talk about, do everything you can to focus your attention, to focus your thoughts on good things. See yourself as successful, and the universe will find a way to make you successful. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tomorrow's vlog, I'll be talking about the Mazda 3, and we have a really cool car coming up this week, the Chevy the, the, the Hot Wheels Camaro is going to be showing up. We're going to be taking that for a week, driving that, doing some fun stuff, and we're going to be taking it to Wheels and Waves once again. And as always, go over to the blog. we got lots of cool stuff that's happening over at FireballTim.com and all our social, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And be sure to pick up one of my coloring books. There's got to be a kid in your life somewhere that wants one, and you could be the person that gives it to him. Thanks for watching, Fireballers. We'll talk to you soon.